Hey friends, Shane from HowToWrench.com and in this little quick tip we're going to talk about evidence and so here I am taking this FLH apart some of you might be watching this little series of videos here and I want I have some other great videos on my YouTube channel that talk about witness marks so what that is is you can see here something drug across there and created that witness mark you know and more than likely it would be what's right in front of it and that would be this chain and that means that probably got too loose, wasn't being maintained. As you kind of keep looking at the vehicle here, uh, you can see it's got a brand new shoe in it, tensioner shoe here. And the reason, I mean, just look at a couple things. The hardware's new, there's no grooves in here, hardly at all. I mean, this thing is like literally at the beginning of its life is where the chain will groove into here, creating witness marks of its own, okay? This compensator was just being extremely difficult to get off, this big nut here, and I felt like they must have used a ton of um, Loctite or whatnot, but really not finding a bunch of Loctite in there, but it was way too difficult. My breaker bar wouldn't even uh, get it loose. I uh, had to use heat and then uh, impact, and it, ju it just took a lot longer than, than normal. So what that definitely does is cause me to go in and inspect things, and you can kind of see in the back of this compensator here, it's a bunch of shiny little pieces. Okay, see all that debris? I mean, I can wipe that off there, obviously. That is not supposed to be there, okay? So, as I keep kind of looking around things, I start, once I got the clutch basket off, see that all that debris in there? And then if I look, ultimately, at the case here, you can see where that case or that chain was whipping around, digging all that aluminum, and throwing it in, everything in here. Now, I'm, I'm doing an engine, so that's going to force me to address the stator and, and the parts under here. I don't have any choice because I have to take it off. But I tell you, this is what's often overlooked, is once you take this off and you're not in there for a clutch problem, you're just setting that to the side. This thing needs disassembled, fully cleaned. You gotta figure, all that debris that's in there is in the rest of the clutch, it's in the chain, it's obviously in the compensator. Everything was compromised by this maintenance item not being addressed. So you folks that are just kinda watching these videos to learn more about, you know, what should I do maintenance wise? Should I have a pro do it? Should I do it myself or whatnot? You've gotta, you gotta follow that checklist and check them all off or you're gonna end up with big problems. I'm going to bet that somebody went in, because this chain was uh, was adjusted really nice, and this shoe, like I said, looks brand new. I'm going to bet somebody went in there, probably was a service where it was like making noise or whatnot, and they went, okay, let's just fix this. They put a tensioner, maybe a chain on it, and they completely overlooked doing the entire assembly. So that's my little tip. Uh, it's just you got to check your parts. you got to inspect everything. Uh, watch some of the other videos I did on fasteners. We had some other problems there. And uh, just stay tuned for HowToWrench.com. If you want one of these stickers yourself, head to the website and uh, get one sent out to you. Make it a great day and keep wrenching.